What's going on guys? This is Knasty3890 with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. I got another way guys you can make coins and it has to do with the milestone sets again. Um, if you haven't been noticing with the milestone sets, they actually have a, they have a pattern how they release new cards into this. Now if you guys didn't know the milestone sets update every Sunday, updates, I don't know, anywhere I feel like they can go from like 5 to 10, I don't know if there's an exact amount. But there is a trend of how they do them. Now, guys, it's important that every day we, you can play the solos to get the collectibles that are needed to put into this. Like, you're obviously going to need the 90 overall card here or whatever with Melvin Gordon in this set. And you're going to need these collectibles. You see, I don't have any more Russian collectibles. Uh, the gold ones, at least. I think I have a few elites. But So make sure you do the solos um, to get those. Now, we're going to start at the very bottom because this will make it a lot easier. And if we go all the way down the bottom, you see there are heroes here. And there's a bunch of heroes. And these are actually going to expire December 4th, this Sunday. So all these are going to be gone. Now, you can't even get these 86 overall cards anymore. They were from Man of the Month back in November. Um, so as you can see, there's hero cards. A good amount of hero cards. Then there are Team of the Week cards. So you got like a True Main uh, Johnson. You got a uh, Darius Slay, Zach Brown. T.Y. Hilton, David Johnson. Uh, actually, I have this card too, which is actually really nice. I got it in the trade day yesterday. Really good card. I like him a lot. Uh, Mariota. All right, that's team of the week. Now we have football outsiders. So here you go. You got football outsider cards here. There's Zach Martin that I've pulled in that pack, and then you have flashback cards. So I went hero, team of the week, flashback, um, and now you got this Larry Fitzgerald just on here. That's the badge monster. That's just kind of like a uh, random card here. Um, but you still got more flashbacks. And now you're back to heroes, which is the first one. So here are heroes. And these are the ones that are expiring most likely on December 2nd. Um, they said they expired December 1st, but they always go a day late. So that should be tomorrow, December 2nd. Heroes. And then you can see here, Team of the Week again. And then Team of the Week, you have Football Outsiders, which came out on Sunday. So if the pattern continues, this upcoming Sunday, December, I want to say 4th, will be flashbacks. So, a couple ideas, guys, what you can do. One, maybe you get try to get a couple good flashback cards that have yet to have um, these sets into, uh, or buy them cheap. Like, if you know, let's go down here. There's some flashbacks. I know there's the Donald Penn. There's the Brandon Marshall. There's the Clayus Campbell, Clay Matthews, Darrell Revis. Don't buy those because they obviously already have flashback uh, sets. But go and see what, if, which ones you can complete or buy. Now, it looks like they only do the ones that are... Um, the non-limited edition. They're not taking the limited edition because the limited edition has two chemistries to it. So, now, I don't really love the fact that they're doing this. I mean, it's nice that we can now use this to your advantage. Um, for instance, you let's say you have a couple million coins lying around. You want to buy a couple flashback cards, and then they're going to go up in value when they get that dual chemistry. People are really starting to use chemistry a lot now, especially these elite chems. You can definitely invest in that, but I would love for them to put some base legends in there. The ones that did not have like 48 hour cards. If you guys know, legend cards have just their, the 48 hour version has at least a dual chemistry. Sometimes even more like the, um, Sean Taylor I think has, uh, three, technically three chemistries. It's like a 2X on one and then a normal on the other. I know like the Randy Moss is two deep threat and then I think route running. So that's technically three chemistries, but like these cards down here will give these sets more value if they threw these into it. Like Laura Malloy then had a milestone set, uh, Champ Bailey milestone set, Ray Nitschke, Kevin Green. I mean, these would have more value because they'd have dual chemistry. So that'd be cool if they did that. I don't know if they will, but that would definitely be something cool to see. Now I know this Emmett did have one. So maybe, maybe they, I know they did with some because Emmett did have the battle ready. I'm trying to think if any of these other ones had it from the, from launch. Maybe Emmett wasn't a launch running back. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm going off track. The point is, there's this pattern, what they're doing for milestones. Use that pattern to your advantage. You can make coins off it. Or even you just know which cards you think we're going to be. Now, if you're wondering why my coins are low, take a look right there. Quarterback, I had to buy him. I had to buy the Brady. Had to. He's a 95 now, so I'm liking it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to y'all later. Uh, new uh, hero should be out tomorrow. We'll go over those. And then this weekend, I will tell you guys which are the expensive bronze and silver cards that you want to sell. So I'll see you all then. Take it easy. Peace.